Hey guys, welcome back to the Mets franchise, episode two, as we begin 2024, a new year for Mets fans to be delusional about their baseball team. You gotta love it. We retooled this team a little bit. We'll see our new ace take the mound in a sec. Our lineup's more or less the same. If you missed the first episode, go back and check out the moves we made. Uh, for the most part, though, the lineup is similar. Our bullpen got revamped a little bit. And our rotation took a big swing as we signed Luis Arias. Uh, did I say Luis Arias? Julio Arias, right? I don't remember what his first name is anymore. Um, but anyway, yeah, we were opening up the season in Seattle against the Mariners on the road. Against Luis Castillo, had a good year in the sim of 2023. Had a really good year in real life. In the first, we got first and second no out for Pete Alonso. And he's going to ground into a double play. Not what we want from our slugger RBI guy. Next batter, Francisco Alvarez. Strikes out high, fastball, top of the zone. Good pitch. That'll end the first. Here is our ace, Julio Urias. Yeah, Luis Urias. I don't know why I said that. Julio Urias, good year last year with the Dodgers. We signed him to a nine-year deal, massive deal. He's only 27 years old, though. In the first, in a little bit of a jam, that's going to be blooped in by the Matt McLean, who's on the Reds in real life, on Seattle in this. Bloops it in down the right field line, one nothing Seattle in the first. Next batter, Ty France. He is going to strike out looking, so good pitch from Urias. Getting out of the jam, one nothing Seattle, though. We're going all the way to the fifth, it's 2 nothing with Randy Arozarena. He rips one down the first baseline. That stays fair, one run's going to score. It's 3-0 Seattle. Here comes the other run because of a missed throw and another missed throw from Pete Alonso at home. And it's 4-0 Seattle in the fifth. Eugenio Suarez absolutely blasts one out to left. And that's going to make it a 6-0 game. What a shot. Upper deck in Seattle. 421 feet to left field. 6-0 here in the fifth. And uh, not the debut we wanted from Julio Urias, our new ace, as he gets chased out of this game without even finishing the fifth. Four, two-thirds, six earned. Not good, and that's the only highlights from this game, so uh, low lights from the Mets as we drop opening day six nothing. Not a good start, uh, but you know, it's only one game. It happens. Luis Castillo shuts us down. Julio Urias, not a great debut. We move on to our home opener, Against the Chicago Cubs, we're a little bit, uh, we're about uh, seven or six games into the season now. Uh, Cody Senga will take the mound for us. His first start went pretty well, six innings, uh, gave up a run. Marcus Stroman's on the mound for the Cubs. His first outing did not go well. He got beat up in four and a third. So hopefully we can do more of the same. Two out, nobody on in the first for us. Pete Alonso smokes one in the gap to right center field. It's going to one-hop the wall. Thought it might have a chance at first. Uh, but that was absolutely ripped into the gap. Two out double. Next batter is Alvarez. Try to score this run. He is going to dribble one up the middle. Is it going to get through? Nice diving play by the second baseman. Keeps, knocks it down. Throw to first, not in time. Saves a run, though. Brett Beatty, next batter. Smokes one in the gap. This will score at least one. That ball is gone. It's out of here. Home run to left for Brett Beatty. A three-run shot, and it's an early 3 nothing lead for the Mets. Just what we needed here in our home opener. His second of the year. In the third, we got bases loaded two out for Jeff McNeil. He's not going to come through, but Stroman, for some reason, comes home with it <laughs> with two outs. That was weird. Uh, anyway, in the seventh, uh, this will be the end of Kodai Senga's night. Seven shutout innings in the home opener, so he's off to a good start this season. In the eighth, we brought in Adam Adovino, four-run lead. Uh, he's going to give some runs right back. It's a line drive base hit. Only one run's going to score because that was hit uh, on the line. 4-1. Next batter is Morel. Uh, he grounds to second. McNeil to Lindor to first. And not in time at first. So another run's going to score. It's 4-2. So that means Edwin Diaz is coming in. The trumpets will play. The crowd will go crazy. As it's good to see him finally back. In City Field in a Mets uniform. Obviously going to miss the whole season due to injury. And uh, he makes quick work of the Chicago Cubs. Strike out there to end the game, and we win our home opener 4-2. to two. So, good little bounce back. So far, we've been playing actually well, as we'll move on a little bit to play the Arizona Diamondbacks. And you can see we're 13-6, and six, so we're off to a good start. So is Arizona. And uh, Tyler Midgill has been anything but mid. He's actually been great in three starts, 1.83. And we're going up against Kyle Tyler. I don't even know who that is. 
three starts. He's pitched great as well. 15 and two-thirds innings, 1.72 ERA. In the first, though, we're getting to him. Bases loaded no out for Alvarez. And he's going to ground a first. Nice play, actually, by Christian Walker. A lot of times you see that go under the glove for the first baseman. Turns into a double play. No RBI, but one nothing Mets. Miguel gets out of the jam there with the huge strikeout. He's hyped in the second. In the third, though, he's in another jam. First and third one out for Corbin Carroll. Carroll hits one fairly deep in the center. Nimmo will be there, but that'll easily score the run from third. This game's tied up at one in the third. Bottom fourth, Mark Vientos. He's going to rip one to left field. That ball is gone. Out of here. Line drive home run for Mark Vientos is one thing he can do, and he can hit lefties pretty dang well. So they brought in the lefty early on. Not sure why they changed pitchers so early. I don't know if that first guy's a starter. It didn't look like he was from his stats, but they went to the lefty, and Mark Vientos makes some pay. Um, Miguel, this will be the end of his night. He gets out of a uh, runner on second, two-out jam. He only threw five innings because his pitches were just high, but five innings, only one earned. In the seventh, bases loaded two out. It's Ronnie Mauricio, clutch base hit up the middle. One run scores. Here comes a second run around third. The throw is offline, so Gritchuk will score four. One Mets, and uh, again, that means it's trumpet time for Edwin Diaz. He's coming on, and he is going to make super quick work of that Diamondbacks lineup. Gets uh, the strikeout looking right on the corner there, and we're going to win again, so... We're off to a good start, 14-6 and six now for us, but we've seen the Mets start off hot in real life plenty of times, and they always, always go downhill. We're hoping to break that trend. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, the next, epi- next couple episodes should be out uh, between this week and next, and then I am going on vacation, so there'll be a slight um, d- delay after that, but I'll get these episodes out as, as much as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.